Yo, good morning. And it is, what an absolutely fantastic morning it is. It's, um, it's, uh, it's just gone 5.30. I don't know what you can see, if anything. Um, I can pretty much see about the same, which is not much, but we have had first light. And so this is the perfect time to be starting this 24.9 kilometer trail run slash hike along the Larapinta Trail. It is a run that I've never done before. It's a it's a trail that I've I've never been on before. Um, so I'm 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 excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. I kind of feel like this is a race um, because it is somewhat like a race. I've got a time that I want to complete it in to then qualify for the 2023 West Max Monster 65 kilometer ultra marathon, which will indeed be my very first ultra marathon. I've, uh, I've completed one marathon in my life. It was in Queenstown. It was a trail run. Um, it was up and down and I completed it in just under five hours. This ultra marathon that I'm planning on doing has a cutoff time of I think 15 hours but what I'm about to do today is actually the first section of it so it's a 65 kilometer race today I'm doing the first 24.9 kilometers and I'm doing it um, to to log on my Strava which I can then use um, as as my qualifying time so to speak they definitely they don't want to send people out onto this trail um, into into something like an ultra marathon without knowing that they can you know at least I guess cover a certain amount of distance so that's what today's all about it is absolutely stunning out here right now as the sun comes up I will bring the camera back out um, I've got a full battery on my GoPro I've got a sky full of stars um, and I've got a backpack full of liquid in the form of water and Gatorade so I'm ready to go my backpack probably weighs about three kgs for anyone who's into their stats out there um, I weigh about a hundred so add three to that I'm about 103 kg worth of weight at the moment um, running along a 24.9 kilometer trail and that's exactly what it is it's a trail so you're not going to be able to see much but I'll get my phone light out and I'm hoping that you can make that out. So this is the Larapinta Trail information station. And as we come in here, we do get some, some crucial information actually. The Larapinta Trail, there it is. Going all the way from Mount Sonda, all the way along the ranges, past Ellery Creek, past Birthday Waterhole, Stanley Chasm, Jay Creek, Simpsons Gap, and eventually you find yourself exactly where I am, at the Alice Springs Telegraph Station. So, what I'm planning on doing is, if I can work this out, going uh, from here all the way along to here. Alice Springs Telegraph Station to Simpsons Gap. Section 1 provides walkers slash runners with a wide range of scenery and terrain. This, along with its close proximity to Alice Springs, makes it one of the most popular sections of the Larapinta Trail. Allow two days to comfortably complete this section. Two days? I'm thinking more like two hours. Well, actually, no, I'm, th I'm thinking three hours. Three hours. That's what you need. I don't have all of it, but I do have someone at least that knows where I am and I think that's the most essential thing so like I said it's just gone what is it okay it's 5 31 perfect time perfect time to begin this I'm fucking excited um, I just need to get going uh, as far as preparation for this goes I've challenged myself recently to um, go for a run every single day for 30 days I did that those videos are actually on another channel uh, which I'll link down below but for the last week I have tapered down drastically in preparation for this so my legs should be feeling the best they've felt the most capable they've felt in a very long time I have trained for this I'm expecting to go three hours or less um, but all of that and more will be revealed I'm going to get my Strava going and because uh, you know the last thing I want to do is do this run to 
hopefully qualify for this this race and not record it so i'm going to get everything sorted i'm going to get some music going the light has just began to illuminate the path and uh, i'll see you guys when i see you all right guys so we've just passed the 3k mark in around about 20 and a half minutes i think um slow and steady is the only way slow and steady will win will win the race will win the race Woo! two things three k's through if i didn't bring a torch with me i would have been fucked especially for that first five or ten minutes second thing oh my god i just did it again ran into the thickest spider web you'll ever fucking feel these spiders man whenever you go along this trail whenever there's two trees one on the left one on the right oh my god oh. it's a 50 50 chance whether you're gonna eat and i mean literally eat a fucking spider web and whatever else ah is caught in there i just want to get i just want to get out of these trees man ah. Ah. anyway i will take this time just to appreciate together the sunrise look at that look at that guys that is absolutely incredible but there's no time to lose so let's keep going all right guys so we've made it we've made it out of that section of trees at least uh light is well and truly upon us and i and 4.6 kilometers through this run the light okay let's talk about positives <clears throat> positives are i don't have to use a torch positives are i can see where i'm going i can appreciate the beauty um, of central australia on this crisp well it's not crisp anymore it's actually heating up but look the negatives about the sun and there is one there's only one and that is that when we, when we think about spiders and spider webs um, I can actually see them I can actually see the spiders coming now uh, so let's hope and I fucking hope that I am out of the woods uh, no pun intended so alright so that is the uh, that's the Stuart Highway that is heading all the way to Darwin that is the sign to say continue along here I don't know what kind of terrain we're going to find but I'm having a fucking good time I can tell you that much and uh, running along these trails with a GoPro in my hand and a fucking camelback I really do feel like an ultra runner I'm not going to lie I really do so 4.8 k's pretty much 3, three miles uh, 33 minutes and 50 seconds let's keep going lucky I saw that you know I was just thinking as we uh, as we uh, drop down the other side of a ridge you know let's let me just give you a quick look at one of these spiders eh look at that look look at that that is literally I'm gonna say four inches uh, four inches here's another one look at this shit oh, fucking hate it but hey, it's just a thought, just a thought. I reckon if enough of these spiders worked together, they could probably catch a human. If enough of these webs were spun in the right place between the right two trees, I, 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 I'm, not gonna put, I'm not gonna put it past them. I am not gonna put it past them. They could. They could indeed catch a human and hey maybe they are trying to maybe they are it certainly felt like it uh, but uh, on the other hand if they are indeed only trying to catch a bug of some sort then uh, i can only imagine it's going to be a fucking rude awakening when my big old head runs through them
a real rude awakening. In fact, they'd be in their best interests to get the fuck off the trail. All right, guys, next time, don't even try me. Now, honestly, it's been ridiculous. At times, I've been literally running, <laughs> running with a window wiper, <laughs> my very own window wiper in front of me. It's been absolutely fucking ridiculous at times, but it does seem, does seem as though we're kind of, uh, we're out of the thick of it, you could say. So, checking in once again, six and a half k's, 47 minutes. Slow and steady wins the race. I've got 30 minutes of GoPro battery, oh sorry, 30 minutes of um, memory on this GoPro. So, I don't want to use it all up in the first half. But there is one more thing I wanted to tell you, and I've got to be really strategic. I have to be strategic around when I walk instead of running because I mean there is quite a bit of ele elevation um, and uh, the last thing I want to do is burn out my legs like you know in the first 10 k's so I have walked probably a k all up so one k of six and a half I've walked that has slowed me down but it's necessary and I'm sure any other ultra runners any other marathon runners will uh, will agree hopefully so feeling pretty good feeling positive feeling optimistic about my chances of qualifying in under four hours I am gonna I'm gonna shoot for under three but uh, we'll have to see so I will see you guys at the 10 kilometer mark how's that Oh, look for trains. Jeez, you'd have to be pretty fucking unlucky. <laughs> Alright guys, I lied. 8Ks through. Almost an hour. I don't think three hours is going to be possible. This trail is humbling me. But, uh... I've just got one thing to say guys just one thing if you just give me a give me a quick second you see Simba everything the light touches is our kingdom but what about that shadowy place you must never go there but I will. Woo! Let's fucking go! Holy shit. Got a burst of energy there. I don't know where it came from. I honestly don't. The phenomenons of trail running, I guess. Woo! All right, guys. So I, I didn't really want to stop for anything, but this is, this is something I have never, ever come across before. It looks as if there's some sort of grub some sort of hairy grub that may have or may have not uh, seen the human centipede because for mine it looks as if we've got a, 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 a furry grub centipede um, one two three four there's got to be at least 50 what the fuck is going on here can anyone tell me that is some weird shit bro that is some Spiders are one thing. Well, I don't know what the hell is going on there. <laughs> oh, fucking. The spider webs just don't stop. Alright. Oh. This, this hill, or this ridge, I believe it's called, is absolutely kicking my fucking ass. Holy shit. 11.2 k's through, um, an hour and 29 minutes. Uh, I feel like, I feel like we're most of the way up what's called Euro Ridge. Um, 
I read about it when I was looking up this section of the trail. I believe it is the highest point. Um, and I also believe it gives you some pretty epic 360 degree views of, uh, of Central Australia. Um, I guess a bit of a backstory, I mean shit. Actually I could probably run now. I lived here. I lived here in Alice Springs for like, geez, almost 10 years. Um, came back and forth to New Zealand a few times, went to Thailand probably like three or four, Bali three or four, but uh, predominantly I stayed here in Alice Springs and there's not much to it but it does have, it does have beauty. And actually just recently Alice Springs has been all over the Australian media because of this apparent crime wave um, uh, by troubled youths, which is absolutely true. I mean, it is happening. Thank God, touch wood, it hasn't really affected me. But in saying that, I mean, Alice Springs used to be fucking vibrant. It used to be buzzing. It used to be buzzing with tourists um, and people that came here for work. Uh, but, you know, as is the case with a lot of places that rely on tourism, COVID just absolutely slammed it, completely fucked it up. So Alice Springs is still getting its, getting back on its feet. But uh, what's happening at the moment is there's just so many children, so many kids that don't have anywhere to go. You know, unfortunately, they don't have the best um, example uh, from from the elders in whatever family they're from. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to use any blanket statements here. Like I said, it doesn't really affect me. I've lived here for long enough that, I mean, fuck, I've seen it all, you know. I've seen it all. But, uh, yeah, we do have a bit of an issue at the moment. And, I mean, the Prime Minister came here. A little old, little old town of 30,000 people had the Prime Minister to try and address the public, for one. And just... Uh, I don't know, encourage the town to be resilient to get through this because it will pass. But uh, anyway, this, jeez, fuck. Oh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I think we might be. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a, um, I'm going to take a calculated rest at the top of this ridge. I'm going to fill up my little, whoop, my little water bottles and then we'll continue. And it should be around about halfway. So I'll see you there. Actually, <clears throat> I reckon that might be Euro Ridge right up there. Right up there. Let's go. All right, all right guys, so I guess this is it. I don't know if there's a sign. I feel like there should be. I feel like there should be, but when you talk about a ridge, I mean, can you get much more ridgy than this? Wow, look at that. Far out, that's amazing. I mean, I've seen it before, but actually, I haven't seen it from this side before. I've seen it from over that side. Anyway, we continue. It's kicking my ass. Sorry, I'll try and, fuck. This trail is absolutely kicking my ass, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put the camera away. Maybe that's Euro Ridge. <laughs> Wishful thinking, time will tell. All right guys, so this, oh shit, would you look at that. <sighs> I was gonna say, they talked about it enough in the brief. And there you have it, guys. There you have it, Euro Ridge in all of its glory. Oh. All right, fuck it, let's keep going. Oh. Okay, 
All right, actually, I, I told myself that I would, I would stop and refill, refill my bottles as much as I don't want to stop. I'm going to. I'm going to stop right here. I think it'll pay off. It'll pay off in the end. So after this, I am going to put the camera away for a wee bit. Just concentrate on finishing. I'm not going to waste water, that's for sure. So I was just about to tip that out. That would be the dumbest thing. The dumbest thing I could ever do because, I mean, when we started literally like an hour and a half ago, it was probably 24 degrees. But as soon as the sun comes up, I mean, that temperature jumps from 24 to 30. And then in another hour, it'll be 35 degrees, guys. And in another hour after that, it'll probably be some, something like 37 or 38. So literally every single, literally every minute that you can be on this trail out of the sun is a really crucial minute because the sun just, it just screws you. It really does. But um, this is, this is hugely important doing what I'm doing now because I can feel myself fading and I need some carbohydrates and that's what this is going to be. So. Fuck. Put that back in there. Put that back in there. And I've just realized I've made a crucial mistake. I've been on my feet. Oh, that was a mistake. I needed a rest. Of course, another important thing, you don't leave rubbish on the trail. So I'll be putting that back in my backpack. And going on my merry way. I'm actually surprised there's no ants on the ground. I don't know why that is. Anyways, I'm not going to do the usual YouTuber transition and run away and then come back and grab my camera. No, 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 we don't have time for that. We gotta go. All right, guys, we just made it down the trail. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it looks like some sort of little camping area. So. I feel like, oh shit, have a look at this. All right, oh, officially 13.5 k's through, 10.3 to go, let's fucking do it. Two hours exactly. All right guys, talk about frustrating. Okay, this is treacherous. Um, I don't, actually I've, yeah, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way, okay, I'm back on. All right, I was lost there for about a minute. Fuck. Okay. No. Jesus. Must be all the rain that we've had recently. All the grass is overgrown. Um, all right. Oh, 15. Oh. Oh. I'm almost immune to spiders, but not quite. All right. West side. No, it actually is. It actually is the west of Alice Springs. Um, Alice Springs splits the McDonnell Ranges. And uh, as as the uh, the uh, the compass would su suggest, to the west of Alice Springs is the west McDonnell Ranges, and to the east are the east. And I am at this very moment walking slash running along the West McDonnell Ranges in Central Australia. At this point, I've got a tally of near misses, because um, they are a thing. This trail, you really do have to concentrate. Like, like if I was gonna, if I was gonna give any suggestions to anyone else doing this, like this is the first time I've done this trail, but you gotta concentrate, man, you really do. Uh, and uh, with that in mind, I've tripped. I haven't actually fallen. They do say that there's only one guarantee. 
when you're running on the trails and that is you will fall you will fall at some point I haven't yet but I have tripped three times that's because uh, I wasn't lifting my feet high enough um, and it just caught, caught a rock and I've also almost rolled my ankle twice and I mean that's really dodgy tripping on a rock is one thing but actually rolling your ankle like I'd be fucked so thank god it wasn't serious touch wood it doesn't happen again but yeah 15 and a half k's through two hours 13 minutes let's go right guys I thought now was just a, a good a time as any to get the camera out we're at Scorpion Pool as far as my watch is concerned I'm 17.99 kilometers through make that 18 and the time is 2 hours 32 and if I want any hope of finish, finishing this um, on two legs then I'm going to have to be strategic about the last 7 kilometers and my strategy is simple walk uphill jog downhill and see how I feel with the flat parts but I mean it's just it's necessary I'm, I'm simply not conditioned like I said before this this thing has humbled me and I mean it's beautiful but fuck it's getting hot um, I just went for my first piss before and it looks like I'm radioactive which means I am severely dehydrated so you know I, did I bite off more than I could chew no no I am I am gonna finish it and I'm gonna finish it on two feet but some serious shit <clears throat> it is some some serious shit out here some serious terrain there ain't nothing out here to help you so you got to be uh, prepared and uh, I guess I probably wasn't okay let's keep going so <laughs> tell you what this trail is relentless the spiders are relentless the sun is fucking relentless and you know what I'm relentless too I will finish this I have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew I'm just coming up to 20 k's which means we've got about five to go by my watch I'm just taking some some weight off my legs because I desperately need it I am feeling fucking fatigued excuse the language throughout this video but it's just come out um, so yeah I'm just uh, hanging out with the ants for a, probably another 30 seconds or so and then I'll take off Whoa. I ain't gonna lie guys if I could I most probably would stop right now I'm getting a little overwhelmed with the heat fuck oh I need some shade man holy fuck oh, oh yeah okay so this is the first time I've actually felt um, I don't know worried somewhat fuck this is tough man this is real tough no sunblock no food I gotta keep going I know that much but man far out my oh my how the tides turn I am I'm over three k's away from the finish three hours 22 minutes I think I'll do well to finish in under four hours honestly it's gonna be funny man looking back at some of the clips at the start of this I was feeling confident very confident in fact I even made reference to the Lion King but right now I just want to finish and I'm fucking worried because I told I told Miffy she's gonna be my ride at the end of this to get there right about now 
And I think I'm at least half an hour away, so she's gonna think, what, what is this guy doing? Where is he? So I better keep going, but man, this is hard, bro. Oh man, respect, respect to anyone who can do this shit. All right guys, just checking in. That is Simpson's Gap. We're within striking distance. I'm not gonna strike. I feel like absolute shit. And I need water badly. All right guys, here we are. My watch has just ticked over 25 k's. I'm gonna stop it because I need to. It's actually a safety risk. And you know what broke my heart? You know what broke my heart just then? Just as I was running in, my ride was driving out, literally. So I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do now. There's no reception out here. Oh, but that is section one of the Larapinta Trail. Done. Sorry. Done. And motherfucking dust it. Oh. See you guys at home. All right, guys. It's 2.30, we began this, quick maths, nine hours ago at 5.30 in the morning. It took me three hours and 55 minutes, well actually, I, I, was it 3.50? Yeah, I don't know what it was, I'm going to have to check, but um, it took me almost four hours to do it, and four hours was the cutoff time, it was the target that I was aiming for. Um, I, I, <laughs> I felt like I was going to pass out. I, 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 I didn't want to push over the last four or five Ks because it was just too much. My legs felt like they were about to fall off. Um, I, I'd i stopped sweating because I think what happened is, you know, I just got rid of all the water in my system. Um, I, I took in three liters of liquid throughout the run, but it, it, it wasn't enough by any means. There was a point with water about halfway through, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a little campsite that we, we did go past. And, um, you know, in future efforts, uh, I think it would be in my best interest to stop, make that one of my designated stopping points and uh, refill with water for sure. Um, I had a couple of liters of Gatorade. It's not Gatorade, it's like a cheaper version. And honestly, by the end of that, they were fucking hot. Um, and was making me feel sick. So I, I, I've literally, I, I got home. I finally got home. Oh, that's right. Got, and none of this is complaining, by the way. This is just being open and honest and transparent. I got, I got in after five hours, uh, uh, sorry, after four hours of fucking hard slog, I got into Simpsons Gap and I knew it was going to be close. I knew that I was going to be at least half an hour, if not 45, 50 minutes later than what I'd actually said. Now there's no reception out on the trail, so it was either get picked up or not. And unfortunately in this case, it was the latter. Um, just as I was running in, literally probably 500 meters from the, from the end, I saw this little white car and I thought, oh shit, they've seen me. They've seen me and I started waving out and everything and, 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 and that car kept going and it, and it kept going and, and, it, and, it, and it kept going. And unfortunately what had happened is that after three hours and 55 minutes of running slash walking, uh, the last five Ks were pretty much all walking by the way, and I stopped multiple times. The first 10 Ks were feeling fucking brilliant and you'll probably see by the, um, the statistics that I, I run through. But um, yeah, we got there, we got there in the end, uh, had to wait an hour extra for my ride, tried to get some water on board, just couldn't, couldn't get enough. Um, needed some food, I had blisters, uh, sunburn, that's another thing. Didn't take any sunscreen because I, I, I started so early and I thought, well, I'll, I'll definitely be done by 8.30. Well, no, 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 I wasn't. And um, it just got hotter and hotter and hotter. But I, I told you guys about that on the, on the journey. So, you know, I'm just reiterating things here. Anyway, got home and I spent the next hour and a half in bed. 
I literally felt so fucking shit that I, I, I mean, was it the fact that I got up like a couple hours earlier than normal? Uh, maybe. Was it the fact that I was completely and utterly dehydrated? Most probably. And it's been a struggle ever since I got home to, um, to take on enough water and enough electrolytes to actually rehydrate me. Uh, it was a real effort this morning, a real effort. Something I can be proud of, but something that I didn't prepare for properly. Uh, we did 25 kilometers along the Larapinta Trail from Alice Springs to Simpsons Gap. First time I'd ever done it, first time I'd seen that trail. I think I mentioned halfway through that I had run along the, the ranges, but not on this side. I'd done it on the other side of the, um, the valley. So, yeah, it was all new to me. Probably, probably you know, probably eight, oh, geez, I'm going to say 100, 150 spider webs. And I wouldn't call them spider webs, I'd call them ropes. The majority of the webs that I ran into were literally anchors. They're anchors for these massive spiders and their massive spider webs. And, um, and so, you know, being an anchor, an anchor point, uh, the amount of times that they run up and down that web, I don't know how many, it's got to be at least 10, 20. And so it's really thick, really thick. And I mean, geez, man, oh, they didn't stop. The spider webs did not stop. I think by the end of the run, the spiders were actually running out of my way because I was just relentless. I was relentless. I, I was just eating them for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, to be honest. Um, I was, at that point, I wanted to get back um, to the finish line so much that I... <laughs> I mean, and I had such low energy. I mean, it, it, using a human window washer like I had done during the first 5 or 10 Ks just was completely off the table. Um, I didn't want to expend any, any extra energy than I, than I had to. So, look... When it comes down to it, the five P's apply to this challenge, um, this 25 kilometer run that I did. And that is proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now, how would I prepare better in the future? Well, I'd get up just that little bit earlier. Um, I would take on more water prior to starting. I would bring food with me. I would stop at the water station halfway through and fill up everything that I had. I'd probably go for actual Gatorade or, or Powerade rather than this cheap crap that um, might look the same, but I don't know. It just didn't make me feel good. Didn't make me feel good whatsoever. Uh, I would take sunscreen and I would not only get up a little bit earlier to get some water on board, but I'd also start that run in this kind of heat literally an hour and a half beforehand I would be I'd, I'd, I'd be quite happy to be running in the darkness for the first two hours I'd be quite willing to do that um, I, I feel like you know it, it wouldn't make it easy uh, the trail is treacherous at times but it would make it a lot more comfortable I mean, I'm, I'm doing this in the middle of summer. I mean, you know, call me an idiot, call me what you like. But um, look, I really wanted to do it. I wanted to challenge myself. This is my day off during the week, uh, day off from work. And, um, and, you know, I wanted to make the most of it. And I certainly did that. But like I said, man, I've, I've spent an hour and a half in bed. I, I've got up, you know, my, my legs are fucking killing me. And it's not as if I haven't run 25 kilometers before, but I certainly haven't run it with 800 meters of elevation. That's over 2,500 feet. Now, I don't even know if that's a lot or not, but it seemed like a lot. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at a couple of stats here. Uh, so 25 Ks total, 825 meters of elevation gain. Total time of three hours, 54 minutes and two seconds. I burnt 2,624 calories. My average heart rate was 151 beats per minute, which I think is a little bit on the low side. Uh, it was up, upwards of you know 155, 160 for the majority of the time, but I feel like that skewed because of the times that I had to stop. Um, but I just had to, man, I had to. You know, thoughts were going through my head about this, this fella back in April of last year who, who died 
You know, the Larapinta Trail have ta has, has taken names. It has taken people out. That fucking trail, at this time of year, has taken people out. But it didn't take me out. Although I felt like it, it did. It, it was about to at some point. Anyways, guys. I started with a pace of 6.22 per K. 7.11, 7.37, back under 7, 6.43 per K. 7.37, 7.56, 7.56, 7.28, 9.38, and 7.24. Those were the first 10 Ks, and that included some decent elevation. But I still had a full tank of gas at that point. I felt like I could do it all day, but no, no. Once I got past that 10k mark, um, we hit some real elevation and uh, my pace just slowed from there. So the next three k's were like going up and then going down uh, Euro Ridge, which if you remember correctly, was the um, ridge, the, the highest point along this uh, trail, section one of it. And uh, kilometer 14, I started running again. Running slash walking, 7.54, 8.30, 8.41, 7.35, 8.18, 9.25. That was kilometer 19. Kilometer 19 was done in 9.25. I knew that I had five kilometers left, but I didn't know how much energy I was going to have left. Never in my wildest dreams, guys, would I imagine that the final uh, six total kilometers would take me 10, 14, 16, that's 30, 40, 50, 59, 59 minutes. The final six Ks took me an hour. Took me an hour. So I got through 19 Ks in, in just under three hours. And the final the final six, man, were a fucking grind, bro. They, they were hard. They were extremely hard. Every single time I, I looked up, I, I, I saw more elevation and I thought, when is this going to end? When is this going to end? And lo and behold, it did. I feel like even just mentally, having completed that now, is going to put me in a, a better spot moving forward. Um, but, you know, the challenge today was to finish section one of the Larapinta Trail 25 kilometers or 24.9 to be exact in under four hours and we did it so really I mean that's a huge tick a huge tick a huge tick I don't know how sunburnt I look right now but I do I feel I'm not feeling the best man I'm not feeling the best I'm in recovery mode um, hey I mean 21 K's 21.1 K's means that I actually ran a half marathon along the trails today so that was pretty sweet uh, I think I did that in about three hours um, but uh, yeah look that's that's enough from me today uh, today was an interesting day I uh, learned a lot but I am gonna have to go back to those five P's once again proper preparation prevents poor performance I'm not gonna say that today's performance was poor but I did bite off a little more than I could chew. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, this is the first video on the channel for like three, four months. Um, I'm happy that it's not a reaction video. I'm happy that it's actually to do with uh, where, where I am and what I'm doing in my, uh, with my life at the moment. I've uh, been in Alice Springs for probably about two and a half months, for anyone wondering, for anyone still here. Been back in Alice for two and a half months. And, uh, you know, I've just been a being as present of a dad as possible it's 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 tough man it's it's tough at times being a dad but it's very rewarding and I love my kids like nothing else I really do I I they're the apples of my eye they are you know I'm not gonna say the cliche they are everything to me because at the end of the day I am an independent man I, I do like doing my own thing such as what happened this morning but I mean they, they mean the world to me and I will continue to um, try and inspire them and motivate them and, and back them with whatever they want to do. <sighs> I couldn't say exactly what the future holds, but for now, I do have a full-time job. That's probably why you haven't seen a huge amount of content on this channel recently. Um, but I have actually started a new channel and it's called It's Okay To Talk. You can see the link uh, on my homepage and um, what I've done over there is begin to talk about things, begin to discuss 
certain things, certain addictions, um, among other things, uh, basically just covering where I'm at in life. But I've decided to publish the videos in a 30 day challenge, 30 day series type format. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I won't say too much more. It's good to connect with you guys again. It's going to be funny to edit this video back because I haven't looked at any of the footage, but you know, I was so confident. I was so confident, but man, man, this central Australian heat is relentless. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. I've probably repeated myself a bit too much. We did start really well. I got through the first 10 Ks. I thought, man, I'm going to get under three hours here. Easy. But no, no, the, uh, the ETA slipped from three hours to 3.15, then 3.15 to 3.30, and, and then I actually wondered whether I was ever going to finish. But we did. Uh, Tate is almost home from school right now, so I'm going to put the camera down and uh, spend the afternoon with my kids and, uh, and prepare to hit the sack, hopefully pretty early tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. This channel will never go away. I'll never go away. YouTube. YouTube has <laughs> YouTube has an interesting place in my life. Certainly a very special place, but it has it's almost broken me. It, 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 the pressure that I've put on myself due to this YouTube channel has almost broken me multiple times. But I will talk about that more in the future. I'm still here. I'm still trucking. And we've just done 25 Ks along the Larapinta Trail. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.